Hello there, Magic players. Barry White here from MagicOnTap.com and Magic on Tap here on YouTube. Now, Ravnica as a concept, as a plane, as one of the many blocks and sets, it's had a lot of impact on Magic of the Gathering overall between hybrid mana and, and two color guilds and all of these things. But did you know that Ravnica actually owes part of its evolution from some previously released and, well, unreleased sets, specifically the unsets? I'll let Mark Rosewater tell you about how the unsets influenced the Guild of Azorius. So Forecast was based off um, a card from Unglued um, called um, Infernal Spawn of Evil. Uh, and so Infernal Spawn of Evil had this cool ability where um, I was trying to, when I made Infernal Spawn of Evil, I wanted to play up how scary it was, right? And so it has this ability that you could pay mana and reveal it from your hand. And just knowing it was coming was so scary that the opponent would lose life. That, that was the flavor of the card. Um, but it had this neat mechanic where it had an ability in your hand before you played it. Uh, and I thought that was cool. And we were trying to do the Azorius. Um, one of the challenges of the Azorius was at the time, um, white and blue were very dominant. And so normally in a vacuum, white blue wants to be a control deck. Um, so, but we were, we were a little... We were trying to make sure we weren't giving white and blue too many tools in a time where white blue control was really good. Um, so we wanted to give them some control feel without being too controlly. Uh, and anyway, we ended up the idea of that, you know, it's I have cards in my hand that have an ability, but then I can play them. So that's that's where that ability came from, where forecast came from. But the Azorius Guild is not the only part of Ravnica that owes some credit to the unsets. In fact, the set dissension brought back split cards. The split cards in Dissension are gold colored, which is an evolution of the half and half mono colored split cards found in the Invasion block. But there's even more to it than that. Again, here's Mark. The split cards had been something originally I had designed for Unglued 2, a set that never came out. Uh, people loved BFM and original Unglued, which was uh, two cards that put together represent one card. So I was trying to figure out how to how do I come up with another BFM? And so I just did the opposite. When rather, you know, one card so big, it takes two cards. How about one card so small that two of them fit on one card? Uh, and then when the Unglue 2 went away, I, I always kept on to it. I thought they were really cool. So when we were doing Invasion, I went to Bill Rose, who was the lead designer of Invasion, and said, hey, I have this really cool thing. Uh, Unglue 2 did them, but I think we could put them, in, like the rules make sense. I think we could do them in a normal magic set. And it's a little out there. But anyway, Bill said yes, and they ended up going invasion. They were very popular. Um, so we get to Dissension, and we have the following pressure. It's the last set of the year. We kind of want to make a nod to the other seven guilds, but we didn't want to underset, like undercut the three guilds were in this set. So is there any way to sort of make a nod to all the early guilds you know, in the first two sets without making Dissension feel, feel unfair to Dissension? Uh, and then we came up with the idea of what if we did gold split cards? And by doing that, we could give you cards from all 10 guilds. And because that was a special thing that we're doing in Dissension, we, we, we felt like it didn't feel like it was taking away from Dissension. It was its own special thing, but it allowed us to sort of to give a few final cards for the first seven guilds. Uh, and so, so we, we, we did that. Mark, thank you again so much for these stories. It's always nice to go back and revisit Ravnica and learn some cool new things about it. Thank you very much for watching. And please, if you want to support Magic Untapped, subscribe to us here on YouTube and hop on Patreon. We have a tip jar waiting for you. Thank you very much.